Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? Yeah, we're gonna be taking a look at temps today. We're gonna see how accurate that controller is. I just realized that that char griller acorn's got a lid temp. <laughs> this one doesn't. Uh, how can I miss that? So we're, we're gonna be firing this up. We're gonna show you how we started. We're gonna be putting some of our pucks in there. Remember these things? Oh, I got a whole bunch of them. Three on the lower level, two on the upper level, and then we're gonna do 225, we're gonna do 350. We're at currently at 450. Look how it dials itself in. It's pretty impressive. And then uh, we're going to show you 650 too. So let's see how accurate this thing is. Uh, it's going to be a good one. I'm learning as I go on this and I'm taking you along. So let's get started. All right, for the first burn in, we're going to use lump, folks. And then we're going to put our diffuser on. Actually, we're going to get it going first. And then we're going to put our diffuser on and set it at 225. See how it does. You're asking what I use for lump yaw, B and B, hotter, longer, cleaner, it's just better. Ace hardware. All right, here's the setup. We got our lump going. Uh, you can see we've got the, this is brand new for uh, for Chargoer. They have this stainless steel diffuser plate. Got the upper rack in. I've got three pucks on the bottom, two pucks on the top. We are going to shut this down, and we're going to turn it on. All right, just got it fired up. Smoke's pouring. Out. So when you fire it up, it says D1, D2, D3. So D1, I got to set it at 225. Is this first? setting right here so that's d1 and then if it was hotter i would imagine it would go two three or four or five and uh we've got a little light rain right now going on but uh just see how long it takes to get to 225 i don't think it's going to take long all right so this has been about four minutes you can't hear anything so what it does it starts to throttle down the fan and i'll just kick back down on so we were about 25 degrees away and it totally shut off and now it just clicked back on and it's going to slowly take you up to 225. Very nice. All right, folks, you got about 12 minutes left. 225 now, I'm learning as I go here. So they give pretty explicit directions on how to light and not to over light and get your charcoal too. And I, I think I did that because I used my big torch on there and uh, it jumped. Uh, yeah, you saw 225, it was, uh, for many sakes, it went up to 270. And then I throttled down on the top vent to get ourselves back in there. So let's just see how our, uh, what our pucks are reading here. And uh, okay, so bottom pucks, you see that one's 250. We got a little over 250 there and uh, 250 there. Up on top here, 225, 225, pretty consistent, it's not bad. So close her down, you can hear the fan just kick back on. So we're gonna keep on going here. Like I said, we're learning as we go here. But uh, so far, I, I've been pretty impressed. All right, so this has been like two and a half hours, folks. And it's been bouncing around a little. That's about probably 234, you know, right around there. I have played with the, uh, the cap a little bit and have found that uh, it likes to be a little bit less than what it's set at, especially for low low and slow. Let's uh, change a. Let's go up the. Let's see what happens when we go up to. Let's just do, uh, let's do 350, just for the heck of it. So we go to here. We adjust this, let's take it to 350. And then you press that to set it. Now it's telling me to go to D2. So D2 is uh, right there. Okay, give you a look, see, and see how that goes. All right, so I've noticed a couple times now, even when it was at 225 that the, the blower, the, the program they've got in there, just, they, they know that it's going to, they know that it's probably going to overshoot, I think. And so they're very hesitant with that blower. In fact, it tells you it, it almost shuts off, you know, 10 degrees shy of set point. And then it, uh, you, as you can see, it's coming, it's coming back down. It, it went up to 365 and now it's coming back down to the 350. Uh, we'll let this sit for maybe 15 minutes, see where it is. And then we'll take a look at the pucks and see uh, what the temp is on the inside. Yeah, I guess I don't show you. When you see the little fan icon, that means that the fan is running there. There you go, it just shut off. And it is variable speed, so um, it, that's why you couldn't hear it. There you go, see it's puffing a little bit, trying to keep it at 350. Now what I did, even though it says that you should be at D2, I put it at D1. That seemed to be, seems to be controlling it a little bit better. All right, let's take a look, see we're at 350. Okay, pucks are uh, 350 in the bottom, pretty close. Pretty
pretty close 350 yeah i like it 350 almost all the way around so pretty consistent by the uh char griller auto Kamato. let's uh turn up the 450 all right 450 is <laughs> what it's at and uh, 450 is what it's sat at so let's uh take a look at the uh, pucks inside and uh pretty close down there about 475 there about uh, 475 there and then on the top right on 450 so i mean it is doing a very very nice job what we're gonna do is i'm gonna set up the 650 but i'm pulling, i'm gonna pull my pucks off because uh i don't want to do any damage to them so set up the 650 and uh see what happens. all right folks i just want to point something out here 461 i can put my hand on it <laughs> get this hot on a ceramic model you can't do that double insulated i mean double walled and insulated nice girl so i sprayed down the i forgot that i should have been seasoning so i, I put a little canola on the grates and uh i've been letting it go and uh some stuff to do it's been about 20 minutes and uh it, she settled right into four you can see four it set at 450 so 456 there but um you can see where i've got the setting and i got it at two now i think on this level it's supposed to be three but uh that seems to like it a little bit better it uh helps to uh keep it from going way up and above and then having to work its way down which it struggles to do and any model would do that and it's still <laughs> still cool to touch so let's set it up to 650 see what happens all right folks uh i think my fuel supply is starting to run out i was at 650 for about 20 minutes and now the, the fan is working hard trying to maintain that temperatures are coming down uh for, for all practical purposes does it work yes i think we got to figure this thing out out here because Everything that I saw in order to maintain temps, I had to be like one notch lower. Like, like right now, it says I should be on five, but two was better at maintaining temps. The same thing when it, when it said I should be at one, I was almost closed. Two, I was a little less than one. So these are things we need, need to figure out now. You got to remember also, I had nothing in there. There was no food in there. So that's a factor too that's probably played into that program that's in there right there so folks i hope this was helpful next time on the char griller auto kamado we will be cooking thumbs up leave a comment and as always folks appreciate you watching thank you